It all started on June 9th with um, what I thought was body aches. That night I was experiencing fevers. My condition just worsened. While I was laying down, um, my partner was able to look at my leg and she was able to take a picture of the actual rash. And on Sunday, I was brought here to the emergency room. They performed a couple of tests on me. The gentleman came back. He just pretty much told me that you're staying here. Once we think someone has a, uh, a necrotizing infection or a flesh-eating uh, type of uh, syndrome, they go right to the operating room because those things progress very, very quickly. There's a variety of different types of organisms that can cause this kind of problem. We don't always know why this happened um, and why it happened to him. You need to drain the infection. So you need to open up widely to let all that stuff out because those things that are trapped underneath are kind of poisoning your system. He was going back to the operating room every other day for them to look at it and clean them up, remove more, drain more. He had wounds that, that started here and ended at his ankle and started here and ended at that ankle. And the whole leg had been just widely opened. There were large areas of tissue missing, uh, both skin and muscle. As the plastic surgery team, we kind of come in a little bit later for the reconstructive end of it. There was a, a moment with him before we went into the went into surgery. He said, I just need to get home and hold my two-week-old baby. And you know, that's extremely profound for everybody. And, and it's something as a father I can relate to. We had to do some uh, muscle flaps on the side, which is moving around some muscles to cover things as much as possible. And the rest of it, we covered with skin grafts, which means taking skin from one leg, transplanting it over to the other and allowing it to grow in. They worked extremely uh, hard around the clock just to get my life back to me. Well, the fact that I still have my leg, which you know, to me is, is probably the biggest blessing out of everything. I mean, yeah, it did take me two months to get on my feet, but now, you know, I'm able to bend my knee. So I'm really thankful for Dr. Silk because he's the one that's pretty much still taking care of me up until today. And so, I mean, without him, you know, I, I don't think I'd be here. I'm so happy that he turned out okay. He got fantastic care and we got him through this. Amazingly resilient young guy. Just the positivity uh, that he had was uh, remarkable in the face of all this. Um, you know, we see lots of resilient people, but he, he, was, uh, he was special. I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I mean, I can't even put into words, you know, how happy I am to be here um, for the care that I received. Every person that had something to do with my care, you know, even the person that was changing my sheets, you know, they all were fundamental in my recovery. So I can't thank them enough.